in this episode of Daddy Reacts It, my mum. When he turns 18, I'm going to do a collage of all his favourite toys. Oh, he's, he's gonna love it. He's not gonna appreciate that at all. I I'll tell you. But he will appreciate it when he's forty. Yeah, I mean, I you're gonna be dead. I'm not gonna be around. <laughs> Geriatric moms do toy reviews, as yes. inspired by Ryan's toy review. So let's see if we can become millionaires as well. Ryan, <laughs> the competition is on. Which one of us is gonna get more likes? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the idea is that we're gonna talk about our. Favorite toys and our least favorite toys. Number one. Oh my lord, what is it even? And it's oh my god, I've broken it. <laughs> no, I haven't. No. So it's just got some sort of embryo thing, and it's just covered in shit and dust. Oh and, yeah. And, and and he wants to take it to bed, and it gets stuck in your hair, and it's truly disgusting. So that one is my number one. That's and super then there's gross. The, the poops as well. Oh yeah. We Orange flavored. <laughs> But, you know, yeah, these sort of sticky things, yeah, top of the hate list. Yeah, I'm going to go with, this is not going to be a surprise to anyone. Hello, I'm a red dragon. And it's broken. <gasps> I broke the dragon. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. <laughs> It is so noisy and you can't turn it off. And it's massive. I mean, the only saving craze is that we, we bought it from the um, car boot sale, so it was like two quid, but it's going back to the car boot sale. It just goes on by itself. Yeah. It's, it's awful. I think that's one of those things. I mean, it walks as well. Oh, is it most, oh dear. That's a... Okay, so my second, um, least favorite toy is a ginormous combine harvester i should be speaking in past tense because it no longer is because is it in a bin it <laughs> is it was ginormous and you couldn't put it anywhere and it was clunky and it was awful and it's a combine harvester, I mean, who wants a combine <laughs> harvester? we didn't even buy it somebody uh, saw us walking and said oh i'm gonna throw this away would you like it ah they got you there I know. <laughs> my next least favorite thing is not a single thing this kind of plastic crap that comes with the magazines what the hell they're so flimsy that you know even mm. even if you would like them and want to play with them they'll break like after a day yeah. and there's this like fucking plastic shit ending up to the landfill and oceans and and I mean Obviously, you could say, why are you buying these magazines to your child? Do well, you have a child? And, and the magazines are actually good. But this, mm. this, shit. Oh, so the same goes with, like, Kinder Eggs. Oh, yeah, same crap. Mm. Going to the bin. Well, recycling. You can't even recycle no, it. No, you can't, no. I don't think mm. the charity shops don't really like it either. No, because you can't sell it. Mm. It's, like, worth, like, a penny. Should we talk about our favourite mm. toys? When he was year and a half until about two and a half or four year he had this in his hand the whole time and it was from Finland so you couldn't even get it from England the same one so but then my mum got another one basically the poor Taking little the space. Poor, poor elephant that was so loved um, got the boot because he's such a fickle fucker just went <laughs> for the biggest one um, I'm actually keeping this in a special cupboard he's not allowed to play with it anymore because I want to when he turns 18 I'm going to do a collage of all his favorite toys Oh, he's, he's gonna love it. He's not gonna appreciate that at all, I I'll tell you. Home. But he will appreciate it when he's 40, if they're still around, and you haven't been them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I you're gonna be dead. I'm probably. not gonna be around. Yeah, that's the, you know, the downside of, of being a geriatric yeah. mum. Dead soon. My favourite toy is similar. So we bought it from the zoo in Portugal. And um, it's also lost his uh, foot. That's pretty heavy going because it's got pretty chunky legs. You would think so, but and it's been clued back like about a thousand times. But I, I love the fact that he's kind of teaching him tolerance as well because mm. we're like, you know, it's missing a leg, that's fine. Mm. We're all different, it doesn't make us less worthy. Oh, come on, <laughs> soggy on me. <laughs> right, my second dear toy is the Red Death. We saw behind on the 
serious that it, the toy was no longer available so we had to improvise so we have put some uh, googly eyes uh, it's lost a tail and there was a time when uh, we were gluing these fucking googly eyes <laughs> on everything and I would wake up and I would have one on, on my hair on my arm on my leg but yeah I do love it shows me that he's got a bit of imagination right okay my second one is this, I can't remember, he's got a name. Um, obviously, being a bad mother, I, I, I don't even know or remember the name. The reason I like it is because when I want to lie down on his bed, he's got these stupid child pillows that mm. are this big, and I use him as my pillow. Mm. 10 points, Francis, or whatever your name, name is. Stacy. That ends our toy review. May there be many more. Do you agree? <laughs> massage um, last weekend and um, when I was taking off my you know clothes I was like oh shit what was the what's the massage woman gonna think about like you know mm. my cellulite and and then I went to lie on a table and and she started massaging my legs and I was like oh my god I haven't shaved my legs she must be disgusted and then I was like hold on a minute I'm paying like 80 quid for this massage what am I thinking? You know, she's used to bodies, all shapes and sizes, mm. and I bet loads of hair as well. And no man is ever going to think like, oh, I haven't shaved my legs for this massage. And I thought like, what is this shit? Mm. Being a feminist, why am I thinking these things? I've found a shortcut though. I only shave my ankles. <laughs> I'm a fashionable mum, you know, I'm a geriatric mum, but I'm a fashionable mum and the whole Capri culottes or whatever, whatever they're called, I'm not that fashionable. That basically leaves the ankle area uh, exposed. So I did have a pair of trousers like that on, and I realised <laughs> I hadn't shaved my legs. So I just shaved, like just you know, the ankle area. Excellent. By the way, I still haven't shaved my legs after that massage. Ooh. I was like, oh, that looks bad. Oh, I'm just gonna wear some. Long it's bones. nearly winter. Oh. Ankles though. And that's, that's the future. That's a mom hack for you. Mom hack. So if you enjoyed this, have a look at some of our other episodes. Do let us know what your favourite and least favourite toys are. And how you shave. And how you shave. Too much. Is that too much? Eh. Cheers. Cheers.